in the penultimate episode of this season of The Amazing Race. It was father-daughter duo Steve and Anna Lee, who unfortunately fell short. They join me now via Zoom. Guys, I'm so excited to get the chance to speak with you. Tell me this. What are kind of your thoughts and feelings after seeing the episode air in which you were eliminated? I want to go back and take a right instead of a left and, and get third. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go back. I want to jump through the screen and do it all again and not end on last night's episode. The way it did. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So you guys just told me this because I really loved your guys' dynamic dynamic going through this season you were one of the few kind of parent child relationships we saw um so why did you guys want to compete together why did you want to do the amazing race you know she's always or i say always for the last 10 years she's tried to get me she travels a lot she wants me to go on some packed mule trip up some mountain somewhere and you know she's always got these crazy obscure places to go I, this is just part of that idea i think she she put in for it. We made a little audition tape. I had no expectations of it ever going through and it did. Mm -hmm. What an exciting, fun thing to be able to do with one of your children. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Now navigation seemed to kind of be your guys' biggest hurdle throughout this season. Was there any preparation you did as far as that went before, or did you maybe foresee that as an issue you guys would face? Well, I've always used GPS and <laughs> growing up, I remember dad, he used to have this huge map book in his truck and he would always use it. And so in my head, I was like, ah, oh, he's got the maps. If there's ever a map that we need or that we can get, he'll be solid with that. I didn't know they were going to be in German and Swedish and everything else. I couldn't read. <laughs> yeah, it, it was, it was definitely not something, I don't think you could prepare for it. I mean, yeah, like, even when we'd write down the exact directions from someone's phone you would pass the street and it'd be a totally different name, but maybe an abbreviation or something. It was just not, it was, it was very difficult for us. I might yeah. talk about navigation. You know, John and Greg are more from the inner city. And, you know, my, I got so confused with some of those cities where the signage was. Some of them were up on the top of the building. Some were on the sides of the building. Old Texas boy went I, used I'm to used it. to a street sign on the corner with the street names on it. They, they, they weren't there. It was not the way you were hoping for. I love that. Now, you guys tell me this too, because um, something that I think viewers really took from your guys' relationship, but you guys have kind of addressed on your own on social media is Annalie, the way you talk to your dad in kind of the heat of the moment and in these intense moments. So how do you feel about the way that was maybe portrayed on the show? And is that like any relevance or any way you actually talk to him kind of outside of the show? We'll take that one because you know what? I'm not going to take any. Yeah, we're very open. We, we, uh, you know, we talk to each other as friends. I'm still her dad. If yeah. I the least bit disrespectful, I'm going to be the first one to jump. Or at least give her that look. And, and I she know knows it. the look. Is when set up. But we're in a race for a million dollars. I needed to be pushed. I wasn't in the shape I needed to be. And sometimes she needed to be pushed. And they didn't I, show a lot of the times they, I encouraged Our conversations, you know? right. Was, most of the nine times out of ten when the, she was saying, come on, dad, it was followed by or it was preceded by the cameraman saying stay together mm -hmm. mm. Stay together okay come on dad but you don't hear that part no. and they definitely picked up on that bit like even last night there was a clip where he's in front of me yeah and they're saying and they come on dad saying, i'm running in front so it's like we and we mm. heard times where it like it was the exact same intonation and everything and they're just so a lot, they're really jumping a on lot it. of the stairs we we had this conversation several times we get the stairs i'd go girl these kill me let me walk the stairs when we hit the top step, I'll run. Okay, Dad, walk the stairs. Go sideways. Go backwards. Do whatever you got to do. But when we hit the top, we'll run. Well, all they have is her at the top saying, come on, Dad, come on, Dad. Knowing that we just had that conversation, you know, but we don't see that. But that's all right. We know between us. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and I'm glad you addressed it that way, because here's what I take from it is like, I feel like if I was racing with one of my parents, I'd probably be the same way, whether it's, you know, malicious or not. I mean, it's also you guys have a real relationship outside of this. So I think that's so important. Tell me this. What was your favorite part about racing on the show together? My favorite part was getting to see the world through dad's eyes. A lot of times it made me kind of sit back and reflect where we were rather than what we were doing. And multiple times he would be like, whoa, look at that. And it wouldn't even cross my mind to like pay attention. But then I would look and be like, you know, that's really cool that my dad gets to see that. So getting mm -hmm. to see the world and getting to say at the end of the day that I went to eight different countries with my dad and like did all these crazy experiences is we did do some so crazy cool. experiences too. Woo. <laughs> Well, like I said, you guys have been really fun to watch this entire season. Um, 
if there's anything that maybe you feel like you could have done differently besides maybe navigation issues, what is that that maybe would have carried you to the finale instead of falling short? I don't know. I think we, we excelled at the challenges. We excelled at everything else. It was just, you know, my physical ability, being able to keep up if I was a little faster. I, I don't know where that would really help us because we got through the challenges so quick. Yeah. Navigation was our downside. Other than that, you know, I wish, I wish that we could have covered that microphone a little bit and they wouldn't have picked up so much on the, the come on dad, but it did make a fun drinking game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Side of that. We are never in a like a situation or an environment where I have to push him or encourage him. We've never been in that type of situation before. And so in real life, we never fight. We never argue. We, I, it just, it doesn't get to that point. We talk every single day, but competing for a million dollars, even heck as, yeah, I was going to push him. Even as a child him. living at home, we didn't. So. No, I mean, he's my best friend, always has been, always will be. And, and despite believe it or what's not, shown, she was a rule follower. I mean, we had rules at mm -hmm. home. She followed so there wasn't ever, ever yeah. a big problem to, there was not, nothing ever to fight about. No. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Something else I really appreciated about you guys as a team, and I feel like it's different for each pair on the show, but it's that it, it seemed like, at least in the editing, that you guys really were willing to help other teams. You, we even see, you know, in the previous episode, you kind of worked hand in hand with Robin Corey. Why did you choose to maybe go that route instead of um, maybe kind of holding out a stiff arm to teams as we saw some other people do? I think it was cast wide. Everybody was very friendly and helped each other. We got kind of caught there at the door with them with a very panicked look in their face after just using the express pass. We weren't going to just leave them hanging. I mean, you're not going to hand the race to somebody, but, but you know, our, our goal at that point, you know, getting down to these last few teams is just don't finish last. And mm -hmm. they've been a strong team and leading, and we figured we could work together. Yeah. And actually, our, our downfall ended up being – Following John and Greg, who won all the legs. The two times that we fought, you know, we, we went with them, we got lost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or yeah. maybe we got nothing lost. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I feel like you guys were really able to hold your own, especially in a male-dominated season. We're seeing three male-male teams headed into the finale. So, you guys, I have to know my final question for you. Would you return to the Amazing Race, like, race again if you uh, ever – oh, my gosh, if the opportunity was ever presented? Back to the yeah. Go right. race again. We just go win it next time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that answer. You guys, thank you so much. What'd you say? Yeah, a little feeler and now we now now we know. <laughs> now, now you're ready to go. I love it. Well, Steve Annalie, thank you guys so much. It was such a pleasure watching you this season. For all of our viewers, tune into the amazing race finale Wednesday on CBS. Thank you so much.